I'm Anita Lash and I'm here inside the Hub Culture Studio. It's Davos, it's 2020, and I have a very special treat for you right now. Happy to be joined by Mark Quinn, artist. Now, I've been following your work for a while. Yeah. Loved the, um, the head filled with blood. Made You're of blood, yeah. Made of blood, in yeah. fact, which was amazing. Yeah. Tell me. Tell me about that and how that's brought well, you to six, what you're doing yeah, now. There's six of those. Mm -hmm. So I, in 1991, I wanted to make a sculpture about, I wanted to bring real life into art. And mm -hmm. I felt like <coughs> none of it's real enough. Nothing's real enough. And what could be like, the, if you go to the extreme, what's the most real thing? To make a portrait out of someone, out of part of their body. Mm. And then I was thinking, well, I don't want to chop my arm off or something. <laughs> and then I started thinking about the body and the different organs. And I realized that blood is this amazing liquid that keeps us alive. It's pumping around you. It's pumping mm. around me. It, the body remakes it. You give blood and then the body remakes it. It's mm. not even something that you lose when you give. Mm -hmm. And so I went to the doctor. For Very regenerative, which regenerative. is one of the words of, of Davos. And I think. I think it's regenerative is how we have to think about the world now, mm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. And about relations between people and everything. So later on, when I wanted to make a work about refugees, it struck me that using blood mm -hmm. and everyone's blood being in one place together, every mm -hmm. religion, race, culture, nationality, was something about the strength of the human spirit and its regeneration. Mm. And, and what I like also, when you first think of blood, you think violence, death, and all this. Right. And then when you confront it, if it's properly presented in the artwork, you think about life, regeneration, mm. complexity, all the DNA in the block of all mm -hmm. the people, all their migration, all their ancestors back to the beginning mm. of time. So it becomes this amazing library of humanity. So I think you need something that is visceral to cut through the kind of, you know, the media bubble. And the intangibility of migration and yeah. refugees. How did you get interested in, in migration and refugees as a topic? I think just from looking at those images in mm -hmm. 2015 of people crossing the Mm. Mediterranean. Mediterranean in boats and just yeah. like realizing you don't do that unless unless you really you, really have to. Yeah, no basically. one wants to leave no one home. Wants to leave home. Yeah. No one wants to leave anything. You know, people in bad relationships, for ages, mm. let alone leaving their homes yeah. and families. And it just struck me that I, if I wanted to do this something about this subject, it had to be philanthropic. I couldn't make an artwork that I sell and keep mm -hmm. the money. Mm -hmm. So then I thought I have to build a nonprofit to do this. So I started this Our Blood, mm -hmm. which is our charity. And then I wanted to work with someone who'd help me because I didn't know about refugees apart from my empathy. Mm -hmm. So we went to IRC mm -hmm. and IRC became our charity partner. Mm -hmm. So the money we create from the project, half will go to IRC okay. and half goes to smaller refugee charities. Mm -hmm. And so it's it's a way of understanding the subject as well for mm -hmm. me and working with, I love working with people. So I tell often, me about the people that yeah. have your, are, you're featuring now. Yeah, well, so, I mean, it's really about giving people a voice and a platform as well. So I love stories of people. Mm. And when you hear someone talking about their life, mm. you connect immediately. Yeah. So the blood is one element. And the other element is everyone who gives blood gives a video where they can talk about themselves, mm. what they care about. And then when this sculpture is shown in a city, all around the city on billboards will be these videos. Incredible. So the stories of the people will be mm -hmm. repopulate the city. So it's like they're almost like co-inhabitants with you. Right, right. And, you know, we all know that refugees are just people who are born in the wrong place. Yeah. And they're all different kinds of people and they're all interesting and different. Well, we're all ways. migrants, first of all. We've we all, all came have from we've Africa. all come from exactly. We've all moved around the yeah. world, parents, grandparents, aunts and uncles. No one is ever in the same place for And nationality is a kind of is a political mm. idea. Isn't it really? So how do you deal with the fact that migration we know is ancient, mm -hmm. uh, it is unstoppable, yeah. and it's positive as long as it's done in a controlled way? And yeah. The problem with refugees in many places is that the perception is that that movement is out of control. Is out of control. So how does your artwork help I, I deal mean, with that I issue? I don't think that we can really, I'm not got a solution to migration. Right. What I, the artwork is for is to bring awareness to it, raise money, mm. and by connecting to real refugees, mm. to realize the humanity of the situation, try and think of it in a human way. Mm. I mean, ultimately, I suppose you have to deal with the reasons that people leave their homes, which are usually war, climate change, mm -hmm. abuse of 
other kinds. So, mm -hmm. the, you know, these are the problems that we always had and yeah. we have now. Yeah. And those aren't easy to solve in five minutes. But the more you're aware of it and the more you can represent the idea in different ways, the more, the more I think can help. Mm -hmm. So you've got sculptures here. Yeah. And where are they going to go after here? So this is a slightly, this is before the Our Blood, mm -hmm. the piece which is going to be on the steps of New York Library mm -hmm. in 2021. I'm making portrait heads of 100 refugees. Mm -hmm. So I got the individual citizens to come to my studio. I went to them. Mm -hmm. I did a photogrammetry scan. So I took 50 cameras and took hundreds of pictures mm -hmm. of them. And from that made a portrait head, which I've cast in concrete mm -hmm. on a plinth. So it looks like something you see at the Met or the British Museum right. or the Louvre. Right. It looks like an antique sculpture. Mm -hmm. so and suddenly, these are people alive today. These are today. people alive today. Yeah. And so suddenly you see them in a completely different light. And those sculptures I want to use as outreach to go where the big sculpture can't go. Mm -hmm. So we're talking to a museum in, for instance, in America, that's a small town museum. We're going to put them down Main Street Amazing. in a place where they probably haven't met a refugee before. Right. So it's this idea of like bringing the people's presence into different situations. Mm. And maybe sometimes we'll put them in a museum next to antiquities. Mm -hmm. So it's a very versatile thing. And I'm also selling them to raise money for the project as mm -hmm. well. Because obviously here I'm looking for people to be partners. Mm -hmm. And I've had amazing philanthropic partners who've given me money to do the project. But I want to give money to do it myself. Mm -hmm. So I've given all the artworks, 100 heads, mm -hmm. to the project. So all the money that get, comes from them goes to create the project. And then after that goes to... The refugee to causes. The refugee yeah. causes. Okay, so we've got the hundred heads, yeah. and then we're moving towards. So in and is it in um, at, during the UN General Assembly in September next year? Probably, yeah. Well, sometime around yeah. then, you'll have the two big sculptures and at, the videos and the videos all across and probably a hundred heads somewhere in and Europe probably, as well. Okay, amazing. So big triple whammy. And just tell me the concept between the between around the two sculptures that will mm. be with the, two, with, the well, with the blood inside. Yeah, well, I think what I didn't say so far is that the two blocks, which are a meter by meter by meter, which actually weighs mm -hmm. a ton. Mm -hmm. So these two tons of blood, one is donated by settled refugees, mm -hmm. and one is donated by people who don't see themselves as refugees. Mm. They're not labeled, the blocks. They look the same. You do a DNA analysis, you can't tell the difference. Mm. So it's really about standing together about two people like, it's like a, they're, they're standing as equals, they're standing in solidarity. So it's about how I feel that we should be with refugees, mm. that they're people who are like us and we should be empathetic and help them and, and try and enable things to be good for, for them. We're all and human. For us as well, we're all human. Under the skin, we're all the same. That's the great mm. thing about blood, is like everyone's blood looks the same. Mm. So it doesn't matter what color you are, doesn't matter where you come from, under the skin, we're all the same. Mark, thank you very much for stopping by Hub Culture Studio. I'm Edie Lush, and this is Davos 2020.